Hello, I'm Michael. Uh, we are doing a game dev feedback of To All Living Things Bring Water by Dan Williams. Uh, he's a friend of mine that I met in the Boston area, and uh, we've had some chats about game design and life and philosophizing and all that stuff, so I figured I'd give his game a shot. Uh, let me see. The arrow keys don't seem to do anything. I guess I can just start X to action. Start game. All right. Level one. Dry flowers can always use some water. Okay, here we go. Jugs can be pushed over to spill the water where it needs to go. Okay. Jugs are six-sided. Six-sided? That's... And usually in a Sokoban, that would be... It would be eight-sided. Okay, that's interesting. Jugs are six-sided. All right, here we go. This is, uh... All right. Level two, stop the flow. ruin it? Did I mess up the level? Does oh, R restarts? Okay. Okay, so that didn't work. Alright, I think I see what I have to do. Oh, this is clever. This is a nice little twist on Sokoban. Okay, wall hugger. X to continue. Um, so apparently you have to sort of almost knock things over. I'm thinking here. in this one that I have to fill the other jar. Oops. Oops. Okay, so apparently that one... So yeah, the little sound effects are getting a little repetitive. I know that's a minor nitpick. I'm sure that, that, that there might be time constraints. Why did it move like that? What? Why did it move backwards? What? Oh my goodness, the rules changed here. And I am furious. I am going to find Dan and just berate him. of the flower what <sighs> Dan's been hanging out with these puzzle freaks these puzzle maniacs 
on the puzzle game design forums and all of that with the people who design the crazy puzzles that are super difficult. I can see now that he's walking the dark path of the puzzles that are very serious. <laughs> Wait, these better be cactuses. It goes over two sp steps. What? What? It goes over two spaces. Oh my goodness. I don't know how many more levels of this I can take. I won. I, m I beat that level. How did I not win? I poured it out on the flower. Replay. This pours it out on the flower. That's a win. No? there for sure. Boom, baby! Oh my goodness, I don't know how many more of these I can take. Okay, I'm going to call it here. Because this, I assume this is, I don't know how many levels this is, but oof. Um, one of the things that I have about Sokobons is I like them. Um, but usually um, the way to solve them is to simply just try all the permutations. I mean, it's not, there's a lot of brute force that you can do for Sokobons. And uh, this one has a very high branching factor, so that makes it very tough. Because the six sides mean the branches um, branch out a lot. Um, so that, that's what makes this one particularly difficult. Um, but usually Soka Bonds, uh, you can brute force them, which is usually what I do. Anyway, uh, this is a really well done Soka Bond puzzle. And if you're looking to try it out, the link will be in the description of the video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, feel free to comment, send retweets, send send YouTube, send letters, send, you know, get the video out there. All right, thanks for stopping by.